All right, guys, here we are in the interior of the XT4. Oh my goodness. Like carbon fiber trim up here, guys. I believe this is real carbon fiber. That's one of the first thing that welcomes you when you open the interior of the XT4, guys. It is beautiful. I love the steering wheel. It's a decent size, nice proportion. I love the side bolster right here. It's pretty thick. Leather wrapped, obviously. And right here on your nine and three grips, it is uh, perforated leather. That is awesome. You also get heated steering wheel right here. So guys, uh, before I continue this video, I'm gonna talk about like the, um, you know, overall, what I think about the Cadillac. I thought I'd just do this video as a new style of filming cars. Uh, so that way it feels like a vloggy style and also like kind of personal, you know? I wanna try something different. Um, but yeah, so just sitting in the Cadillac, I have plenty of headroom on um, the X-T4. Uh, I'm gonna compare this car to a lot of other crossovers in this category. This might be expensive than others, it's a Cadillac, what would you expect? Um, but yeah, let's carry on, shall we? So you sit in the interior, and what the first thing you notice is just the build quality, guys. Right here is soft leather to the touch. I love the um, door handles, like metal. I can, like it's just brushed aluminum metal work right here. Got a carbon fiber inserts right here. You have beautiful stitch, copper stitch, uh, contrast with the black and carbon fiber. It just looks so good. And then soft touch leather right here. Get this camera to focus. So yeah, here is the gauge cluster, guys. It looks pretty clean, simple, um, you know, it looks advanced enough. It can tell it has a lot of um, a lot of features in the uh, LCD right there. You got a taco on the left and your speedo on the right. Moving along, the dashboard just looks pretty clean. Um, this right here, for some reason, it reminds me of the Prius um, interior. I don't know why, that's, that's just me personally. But yeah, the dashboard, just the soft leather right here, soft leather right here. And then more of that carbon fiber insert right here, guys. This is beautiful. So moving along the dashboard, um, the infotainment display right here, um, the dimension proportion just gives it a touch. Um, it's very responsive, as you can see right here. I do believe this will support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So let's go to home right here. So yep, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You get a Wi-Fi hotspot over here. Guys, very responsive to the touch, responsive to the touch, excuse me. You got a climate right here, and you can adjust the climate. I'm going to put the AC on because right now it is hot at the moment. Um, but yeah, this infotainment system is very um, easy, user-friendly to use. Um, he has also has navigation, if you couldn't tell earlier. Navigation right here, you can either do navigation in one screen and um, whatever you want on the left screen. That's fully customizable. Now for your AC, your fan speed right here, dual climate control zones in the XT4 for 2019. You have your heated and cooled seats, you know, parking sensors, um, lane keeping assist, and then heated and cooled for the passenger as well. The center console right here, the gear lever, uh, kind of funny looking to me. Um, but it works nonetheless. It does the job it needs to do. Uh, over right here, over right here, you have your cup holders, two cup holders. These are uh, relatively small cup holders, but you know you can. They're still usable. And over right here is the controls for your screen. You know it's also touch screen, but you know might as well have a control right here. And the knob for your radio volume right here. Um, for your media controls. And down there you have your uh, auto start stop engine button right here. That's for the fuel economy. You have a drive mode right here. So you get, you know, I'll talk more, more about that later uh, when I'm driving this car. And you also, you have your traction control button right here uh, and stability control right here. So we're gonna leave that on. This is my driving position right here in the XT4. Um, I have plenty of headroom, like I said earlier. It's very, um, it's very roomy. And surprisingly, it looks small on the inside. Think of this car as a sedan, but in, you know, in an SUV form, um, the crossover, you know. Uh, maybe other cars to compare this to might be uh, your Hyundai's, you know, your other car manufacturers, which um, maybe maybe this to compare to a Hyundai Tucson. It, it's about the same size, but this obviously has a lot more technology and uh, you know carbon fiber in a crossover SUV. That's insane. Not that I don't like the Hyundai Tucsons, but this just does everything everything a little bit nicer. So the back seat, you do have the nice touch leather right here on the um, armrest, same door handle carbon fiber treatment back here for the red passengers soft touch leather you got that copper looking contrast stitching everything back here guys is really soft touch um over here also you have two vents for the red passengers i mean and then you have your rear heated seats buttons right here i like how they put it here 
I mean, some, some car manufacturers have the buttons right here for the heated, rear heated seats, but um, right here is not bad. I love that. You also have one right here, so two for the back passengers. You also have the USB, USB charging ports for out here. Um, overall, guys, the back seat is not bad. I love the hatchback design of this um, XT4, and you have your panoramic sunroof. Excuse me earlier, I thought it was a sunroof. I didn't look all the way back, but this is a whole panoramic sunroof, guys, uh, on a Cadillac XT4. Um, spec tire right there, it's a donut tire. No, nonetheless, uh, I want to say the uh, cargo room is not a lot back here. I mean, you can the seats do fold down, but um, it's a decent size, small cargo space. They could have had more cargo space in this Cadillac, but um, this is the wheel well right here. That's that kind of rough space a little bit because you have this big ass, uh, this big wheels in the front. So, but that's a little about the trunk space. I'm gonna shut this real quick. I love the LEDs on the LED LED car, guys. So right now, I'm in the front passenger seat. Um, I love the ride height. It feels very like um, like a truck kind of feel, like a small truck kind of feel to it. I mean, it's a crossover SUVs. You're riding on 20-inch rims in all four corners. Um, yeah, this car definitely turns heads, guys. Like, at night, those tail lights. I wish it was dark night right now. I can show you a picture or the video of the tail lights. It looks so sexy. Um, but yeah guys that's the quick um run around of the exterior and interior of the um, cadillac xt4 for 2019. um i believe they're gonna come out with a xt6 uh, if i got the name wrong it's another one which is gonna be bigger than this so um damn they're just putting cars out here so um, i mean if you guys want to know more about this um xt4 you can just look it up um for the technology, you have the navigation, the Bose audio. You guys already know that. I'm just gonna show you how it drives, and then if it's, if it should get this car, I'm gonna tell you how this car drives, the handling, uh, if it's worth the price tag it has on it without tax, title, and licensing, and uh, and uh, overall, what would the car feel like if you ever bought one or leased one? If you should do either of which. Um, so. Right now, we're gonna go on a test drive and see how this car drives, guys. Uh, so back to that price tag. The base is around like 35,000 to like 40,000. Um, but this one I'm driving with all the options. It has one, almost all the options, I presume. It has uh, the MSRP or price is gonna be $48,000. Um, I'm so glad Cadillac didn't go to the conventional queue with the ugly, sorry if I said ugly, but with the ridiculous touch sensitive thing. I'm glad they're redefining the whole infotainment system for the customers. So yes, you do get blind spot monitoring for this package. You get blind spot monitoring. And for the driver assistance package, you have a forward collision warning. Also, your um, lane keeping assist system. So that's nice as well. I mean, obviously you're paying almost 50 grand for a car like this, or a crossover. You might expect that. 237 horsepower. Um, you, you can get this car in um, two wheel drive or all wheel drive. So. Um, it depends on the, again the area where you live at. Um, if you need, if it snows, if it rains, whatever the reason is, I would say just get with the front wheel drive version alone. You don't, you don't really need all wheel drive, you know, unless you just want to have all wheel drive. But you're one of those guys that like, I have to have all wheel drive. Then by, then by all means, get it. So um, the power is decent, you know, for its class like this. You know, other cars in this category don't even have close to 200 horsepower. You know. Um, you know, obviously for fuel efficiency and whatnot, but um, I think Cadillac has a way of you know making that happen and making this car yet powerful. Um, well, yeah, just going over some back roads here where I normally go to in all my reviews. Um, it's comfortable, it's quiet in the back roads. Going over bumps, yeah, it's comfortable. What else would you need? Like it has everything you need. Um, the seats are comfortable, just so. And this, this atmosphere of this Cadillac, it feels premium. It's like very, very, very premium to the feel. Um, just still, I love the outside look. I don't know, there's just something about it I can't describe. The front and the back and the tail lights. I think Cadillac is uh, one of the other car manufacturers that make pretty, pretty decent, attractive tail lights. about the drive mode? Because I said I was gonna do that earlier. So if you put it in drive mode, you have touring mode or tour, as Cadillac likes to call it. Uh, sport, then snow slash ice. So if you're leaving the sport, obviously it's gonna the shit's gonna be quicker. Throttle response is gonna be there as well. Um, but we're gonna just leave this in touring mode because this car has four miles on it. Don't wanna do anything crazy. Just drive the car like a normal person, <laughs> you know. 
But um, yeah, so if you guys are planning to get one of these cars, uh, I would say just do your research, know what the price is, um, know what you want, if you want leather, uh, technology you need and don't need, um, and go for a test drive and drive the car, see how it is, play around the drive mode, see what they like, drive on back roads, see what the suspension is like. All right guys, this is gonna conclude today's video on the 2019 Cadillac XT4, guys. Um, I had a blast driving this car. It was compact, fun, um, luxurious enough for a car in this price point and uh, good power. Overall, all well-rounded crossover SUV. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, share this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, it boosts my ego, also supports the channel. Um, once more, a big, big shout out to Cadillac of James Wood right here in Denton, Texas, especially Will Lewis. He was my guy that hooked me up with this car. They're very, very friendly over there. If you guys are in the, are in the area, give him a call and ask for Will Lewis. Tell him Toby from TVM Review sent you. And that's it, guys. I'll see you guys later in the next video.